Hello and welcome to Cameron McNeish Outdoors. I've just been out for a mountain bike ride and I've come home to some very good news. An email from Forest and Land Scotland to say that thanks to all the letters that you have written uh, to them and the intervention of Scotland's, um, the Scottish Government's Tourism Minister Fergus Ewing, they've decided to um, overturn their decision of the other day uh, and continue the trial of overnight car parks in Scotland um, until later in the year. They will then have another longer trial next year and evaluate everything that comes back uh, and look at it in the, in the long term. So it's very, very good news and really all thanks to your efforts, to everybody who wrote to Forest and Land Scotland and everyone who wrote to Fergus Ewing, the Tourism Minister. And a big thanks to Fergus for, for getting involved. He obviously sees the benefit of extra car parking, overnight parking facilities for camper vanners in Scotland. I should say at this point, it's up to all of us now to, to treat these, um, these privileges um, with responsibility. There are very few rules put on this by Forest and Land Scotland. Uh, one night at a time, uh, make sure you distance from uh, other camper vans, don't leave anything behind. Um, it's simply about behaving responsibly. And if we can do that, then I think we could see this trial extended uh, into, uh, uh, into a permanent scheme in Scotland, which would be wonderful. So thanks again to everybody who, who wrote. Um, I think it's a, it's a fantastic move forward um, and it comes, you know, I, and I thank Forest and Land Scotland for uh, making this decision so quickly, just in time for the weekend. So go off and enjoy Scotland's forests. Thank you.